granny on the flight tracker, that's her. She's coming down. So we're just at Bustleton Jetty, longest jetty in the southern hemisphere. 1.8 k's long. It's a long one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to decide whether we walk it or we use the train. <laughs> yeah, they've got a train. We're going to try and catch a train. you got to pay but for it. But it's going very slow. Better than walking 4 k's in a pier with a kid. What are you doing in there? We have arrived to pick up Grandma from the airport, so I think we're a little bit early, so we might sit and relax for a little bit, and then we'll be able to see her. watching Granny on the flight tracker, that's her. She's coming down now and they're slowing it down a little bit. Five minutes till she arrives. She's landed. Now we just have to wait. Grandma's almost Hello. 
massive, some of them like three, four metres tall. You're selling ice creams, are you? Is this your shop? Yes. Yes, please. I love an ice cream. That's my ice cream, is it? Ronest Island, a bit of a stuff around with bikes and getting around, but we're glad we actually, they ran out of bikes, so we couldn't get one, which is actually good because there's a fair amount of hills here, so if you actually saw it, you probably wouldn't want to ride a bike around here, especially if we would have a trailer on and towing kids, so um, anyway. Dad, I found coral, see? Sweet. Cool. Good and job. it's still colourful. Good job. Anyway, so we're... Uh, on the 20 minute bus, so every 20 minutes you can jump on and jump off and there's another bus every 20 minutes. So, we we'll keep going around the beaches looking like that. Oh, 
so close. <laughs> of course, I'm the one that gets a complete fail. Start again. That's a negative one. That's a plus one, actually. Mo's gone. Um, some other things that we're doing is I've had a heap of stuff replaced under warranty on this van. So we have some parts here. All right. Elko jockey wheel. A hitch for the van. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, there's another thing there. All right, so I'll show you what's been breaking on the van. So, Elko's replaced two things for me under warranty, which is good. So first thing is a stabilizer leg. So, um, I've had this on for three weeks. As you can see, that cover's just come apart and all the gears are showing. So, it hasn't failed yet, but it's going to. Um, so they've replaced that. Um, they've replaced a uh, a jockey wheel, or uh, yeah, jockey wheel, which is over here. So um, that actually bent, um, which is surprising. They're two hundred dollars. They're quite a good one, um, but I think because we've got an off-road van and it's so high that that jockey wheel is at like full extension to try and get it off the car. So when you do it, it's like real wobbly and I don't think they're designed for like having such, you know, to be used at such length. So uh, that bent the shaft. So they replaced that under warranty, which I'll use as a spare. Um, I've actually just bought a bigger, better one, like an actual um, hydraulic jack. Uh, so the first jockey wheel I broke, the second one was a warranty repair or replacement. Got a bigger, better one, which I think will will do us. Um, and then I've also um, had the actual hitch coupling changed by levels under warranty. So here's my old one. So I had an issue with that lid, uh, which is what you turn to um, do it and undo it, but. It's actually impossible, like I cannot do it by hand, so I've got to use their little tool, which is fine. The other thing is, like, I cannot articulate this thing by hand, so these can't turn it. And so what that means is that as the van is articulating behind the car, that 
as it rolls around, that force, a lot of it is being forced to the car, um, which makes driving it not very nice. Um, so yeah, um, they've re replaced uh, one here. I've just got to install it, but I can freely move that by just my two hands without it even hooked onto the van. So my old one's definitely got an issue. So that's what I'm doing today. Car's in for a service. I've got my loan car here. What was it? Uh, Fortuna. Fortuna. So got that at the moment. Change all this stuff over and then uh, yeah, hopefully that fixes some of the problems. So while Brett is doing his jobs outside, I have been doing mine inside. So we've got some washing hanging up there. So I've stripped all the beds. And this is what we've got going on. So here's all of the girls' beds lined up, ready to get sheets put back on, and then a struggle to get them back into their bunks. But this is the reality of a small, hi Grace, of a tiny van, and when you're trying to do stuff, all the girls' things are out here, dunas are out here, everything. So we need to get these beds made and then we'll be sorted so we have decided to come to Kings Park today we've been wanting to come here all week but we've been working waiting for the perfect time and I discovered that there's this place called um, at nature scape so it is a nature playground for the kids and it is amazing so we're just down by the creek at the moment the kids are loving it they've been doing lots of different things but these little activities set up around the place so this one's like got fire sticks so that they can practice making fires and it is stunning here oh it's weaving with reeds grandma would know what to do with that What are you doing, Grace? Cool. So we have left Perth and it, it was mint. I absolutely loved it. Weather was perfect. It was like 28 and sunny every day. Absolutely loved it. So it is the Wednesday before Easter weekend. And so everywhere, everywhere around Perth, but north of Perth and south of Perth gets um, absolutely booked out. So we thought we'll try a place called Sandy Cape, which is about two and a half hours north of where we were. Um, so yeah, that's where we're heading. We've actually just stopped on the side of the road because it's, um, we sort of come over a crest of a big hill and there's a big lookout there. So we're just having a bit of a walk up to the lookout, have a bit of a look, then we'll grab some lunch and then we'll head off to Sandy Cape and hopefully we can get a good spot before the um, Easter long weekend. There we go. Wow. So quiet. 